computer is using RGU rate information to maintain nominal vehicle attitude during stage zero burn. Power bus is nominal. Approaching max Q. Power bus is nominal. Attitude nominal. T plus 50 seconds. Vehicle velocity is approximately 2,000 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 10 miles. Attitude remains nominal. One minute into OCO mission, all systems nominal, expecting stage one ignition in approximately 20 seconds. TVC is nominal, attitude nominal. Stage zero TVA initialized, pressure nominal, expecting stage one ignition in approximately five seconds. Vent cover jettison, stage zero burnout, stage one ignition, stage zero separation. Vehicle attitude nominal, power bus is nominal. Stage one burn will last approximately 70 seconds. Nominal shedding in, in avionics current. T plus 100 seconds. Vehicle velocity is approximately 5,000 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 50 miles. Avionics temperature is nominal. Stage one TVA system operating as expected to maintain nominal vehicle attitude. Two minutes into the OCO mission, all systems nominal. Avionics power bus stable, vehicle attitude nominal. Power bus is nominal. At attitude nominal, TVC operation remains nominal. Vehicle attitude remains nominal, power bus is strong. Attitude nominal. T plus 150 seconds, vehicle velocity approximately 9,500 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 100 miles. Expecting stage two ignition in approximately 15 seconds, followed by fairing separation 10 seconds later. Stage one burnout, stage two TVC battery on, stage two TVC voltage current and status nominal. Stage one step, stage two ignition. Vehicle attitude nominal, power bus is nominal. Stage two burn will last approximately 70 seconds. Fairing separation. Vehicle attitude nominal following jettison of payload fairing. Three minutes into the OCO mission, all systems nominal. Vehicle attitude nominal, power bus is nominal, indicating up, up, proper load shedding. T plus 200 seconds, vehicle is approximately 11,000 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 130 miles. Stage two TVC system and cold gas reaction control system are operating as expected to maintain nominal vehicle attitude. Power buses remain strong with nominal voltage on current and current on all buses. Vehicle attitude nominal, power bus is nominal. Power buses remain strong. Four minutes into the OCO mission, all systems nominal. Expecting stage two burnout in approximately five seconds. Vehicle attitude nominal. Vehicle is approximately 14,000 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 175 miles. And we have stage two burnout. Vehicle is what was that? P3 is reported to have AOS. Vehicle is now in stage two, three coast phase. During this phase, the Taurus vehicle is coasting to an orbit insertion altitude of 650 kilometers or approximately 400 miles. This coast period will last approximately five minutes. The flight computer is currently recalculating the time for stage three ignition based on the performance of the stage zero, stage one, and stage two motors. This is Taurus Launch Control, five minutes, 18 seconds into the flight of the Taurus XL with the orbiting carbon observatory. We've been listening to Launch Vehicle Engineer 
Rick Hankey monitoring the telemetry it's as, as it uh, has been coming in from the from the uh, Taurus rocket and we'll continue to monitor uh, his commentary as we prepare for the ignition of stage three right now we're in that brief uh, slightly less than five minute coast phase Six minutes into the OCO mission, all systems nominal. Vehicle attitude nominal, power buses nominal. Vehicle will be pitching down in preparation for stage three burn in approximately 100 seconds. Avionics and transient buses remain strong with nominal voltage and current on each. Vehicle attitude nominal, power bus is nominal. T plus 400 seconds, vehicle coast remains nominal, currently at an altitude of approximately 300 miles. Vehicle attitude nominal, RCS gas future is nominal, power bus is nominal. Expecting stage three ignition in approximately three minutes. Pitch down maneuver.